Great. Completely dead. Right, this thing has been giving this problem with some time and we need to get it started out today because I need this thing back up and running urgently. I've got some work to do with it. So it's been neglected long enough, better tackle the problem. And up here is the main issue. That connection on the solenoid just continuously frying. So um, even if it does crank over, I get a strong smell of burning. And it's actually melted part of the casing, so I'm going to pull the starter and have a look at it. This will tell you just how hot those connections got. That is the tin finish of that lug. So it's this was a tinned, tin covered um, copper lug, and it's actually melted the tin off it. Uh, similarly, it's damaged this one, and this is pretty well cooked as well. So let's get it on the bench. Right, so here's the damage. Now we have another little bit of a problem here as well. Treads are completely shot at that point. So if I can reassemble it some kind of way, maybe you have to put a washer or something in there to space it out. But um, let's pull the solenoid off and see if we can um, do anything with it. And I need to search the workshop again see. I've got a spare starter in here somewhere. I just can't seem to find it at the moment. And solenoid and that might work. So I'll get this cracked open. When I was working in the tractor, I thought I might as well pull the battery out of it, give it a charge because I hadn't started in a little bit. So this is the battery I use in it. Great battery, Bosch S4, uh, 1000 coil cranking amps, 170 AH. Highly recommend them. Good battery. So I'm just going to drop this out of the way and let's have a look at where we're at. Okay, so this is the result of my little shopping trip yesterday evening. This is a replacement starter motor. It's a Mali. It's... The 4.2 kilowatt geared starter. Heard a lot about these things, but I uh, haven't been able to find any videos of YouTube of them on tractors, so we're going to try this one out. Uh, also got a replacement heater plug for the manifold and a new heavy duty isolator switch because I think isolator has been suffering a little bit as well. So I'm going to change that out at the same time. So let us pull out, I'm going to put these to one side. Uh, the manifold heater plug that was in it fried spectacularly last time I tried to use it and talk and smoke and very nearly flames so okay so let's open this thing up let's see how it compares Ooh, it's gonna get it out of its packaging just before I go any further as well you're probably wondering why I replaced the starter motor when I could have just replaced the solenoid now I've got a spare starter I wasted about three hours of my time trying to find it. It is here somewhere. As far as I know, it wasn't dumped. Um, it was a previous starter out of the same tractor, but it was a little bit lazy. My plan was to pull the solenoid off that and swap it onto this one and put it back in, but to be honest, it's it's never been good to start. So I really wanted to try out the geared starter. Now, they're not cheap. It's um, a lot more expensive than the standard starter. But I figured it had to be worth the shot. So let's take a look at the differences. I'm just going to try and line them up roughly. So you can see, first of all, 
new units a lot longer but also a lot thinner okay so let's have a closer look at this compared to the old one now i've been told little fit um 10 teeth and a 6 6 10 starter and this one I should hopefully have the same the mounting points look the same now in this application was actually on the two of the three bolts used the two outside ones for at least on my tractor the sun was there um solenoids as you can see are slightly different actually uh the no they're not actually connections in the same place so no the solenoids are look to be the same we didn't get a second nut for security so i think that nut has to stay in position and that there should be a second one outside it or at least there was on the previous starter uh, that's the inner one i think that was the outer one the remains of it anyway but um yeah i've got some spare nuts here anyway from the old starter if i need them so just need to check that out to see if that should come off, but I don't think it should, I think that should stay in position. So, I have to put another knot outside it to secure the connection. Hmm, that is unusual. I guess I should check that out just to make sure I'm right. But, you can see here where the starter motor connection is made. Not inside, not outside. Not even not inside. Hmm. Okay, but you can see anyway the physical difference between the two of them. So I think what I do now is go and bolt it on the tractor and I'll see what the uh, difference is in operation. Okay, now it has fallen. I think that is everything connected. I had to extend that um, low current cable there onto the sun. Now it was too short and the lug that was on it was crap. So uh, I think that's everything right. Turn on the master switch and let's see if she start. And that is impressive. Just gonna put on some lights so you can see me here. Uh, i on turn the range over around, get some light on this.
So that was it, firming up, no cold start date, so I didn't use the excess fuel button and uh, didn't use the manifold heater. Just jumped on it, small bit of traffic, gave it heat and off she went. So it's um, absolutely totally different tractor to what it used to be to start, because it was a complete pig. Okay, the final part of the jigsaw now is to replace the manifold heater plug, which is down here, in the back of the inlet manifold. So I'm just going to whip that off, we'll have a look at it and look at the new one and throw it in there. Okay, plug's finally out. It was a little bit of a struggle, access isn't the best. So it's just a threaded fuel connection onto the rear, one push on electrical connection, and then she just treads out of the manifold. So this is the old one, pretty manky. This is the new one, so you can see that heater element inside and diesel connection. So as this thing heats up, there's a little valve that opens in here and allows diesel inside to create the flame. And this thing is fed from the return line in the tractor. So when we put this back in, I'm just going to make sure that it's getting fuel. So we leave that return line loose, see so can we get some diesel out of it. So you can see there, um, I have my knuckles on the back of the alternator and I did disconnect the air intake just to give me enough room to get the 24mm spanner in there. So just get this thing in there and get it threaded in. Let me tighten it up and give it fuel. No, I'm not going to give it power straight away because I want to run it for a while and make sure it's fuel at or I'll just burn the thing out. So, so it was very important when you're fitting one of these not to um, run dry if you can. Okay, I think we're ready to go. The only other change I had to make was the power connection is the large uh, lug, the bigger one rather than the regular size one. So change that, just plug it in up. Okay, job done. Close it up and there is uh, there's diesel coming out of that line while it is loose, so we definitely have fuel supply to it. Ah, that's here to start again. Man, there is some difference. It's a joy sitting into this thing and know that it's going to crank over and just fire it up. Now I know uh, weather isn't exactly cold at the moment, I think it's uh, about 9 degrees at the moment. So, uh, give another update once we get the first every frost of the winter so we're going to keep this video short that's it thanks for watching if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button don't forget to turn the notifications on below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy what you saw uh, also take the time to leave a comment below all the regulars check in if you're watching this and if you're new to the channel introduce yourself let me know where you're watching from and let me know what you think of the workout have a good one guys see you soon Thank you.